Hey guys, happy, happy evening to you all. Oh, welcome. Guys, I have had the day. <laughs> Not bad, just a busy, busy day. And here I am shaking my camera around. Um, my hair is a little crazy, okay? But we're not going to look at that. We're going to ignore that because I have so much regrowth coming out, you guys. Like all these baby hairs are coming out, but they're driving me crazy because they're sticking out and they won't lay down. But even in the back now, my hair is getting um, long enough to actually stay up and not have to be like falling down. My bun's getting bigger. I'm like so excited, you guys collagen the hydro boost like it is working you guys i am like so happy i cut about hmm, about four inches off my hair like a while back and it needed it okay but it's growing finally it's like growing and it's healthy and i am so excited you guys like so excited I think I want to let it grow back out now. I'm kind of over the short phase. I liked it, but I want it long again. So that is the goal. And the stuff that I'm taking has really been good. I've been using Pharmacy's Collagen. I've been using Bellamy Hydra Boost um, for my water supplement. I've been doing my vitamins. Um, I've been using good shampoos and conditioners and leave-ins. Um, my skin, the skincare I'm using is doing my skin such, like, doing such good things for my skin. Um, I kind of have, like, a mixed, uh, skincare routine going on right now, but it's working for me, and it's so, so good. Um, and if you want to know more about my skincare regimen, just message me and I'll tell you. Um, but yeah, like right now my skin's looking a little wonky because even though I use sunscreen, um, this is what happens when I go out in the sun. I tan like kind of blotchy and I tan like a reddish tan. I don't tan like a pretty brown tan. It's always like a very reddish looking um, tan on my face, like even on my chest. That's how I tan, you guys. So um, it's not like I always like have to put bronzer on or do something to even it out. But I just did a video for you guys showing how you can use our new... Um, bronzers to even out your tan if you have like a tan going on or if you just want to add a little bit more bronze to your current tan but yeah so there's that so anyways you guys I already put my primer on so I just wanted to let that sit I'm gonna go in with our lip plumper um because one it feels amazing on the lips two I love the smell <laughs> And it just hydrates and gets my lips prepped for lipstick. So, and it is a plumper, but it's not one that's going to make you want to go in the bathroom and splash water in your lips as you cry intensely because of the pain. It's a super, super um, mild, mild plumper. It's just the mintiness of it but it feels so good, but it's not going to hurt. So I will say it does not, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Okay. Like I always do. Um, it does not really plump my lips. Okay. Maybe some people it does, but it doesn't really do a lot to plump my lips, but it sure as hell feels good. So it's a win-win. Okay. So what we're going to do is I went in last week with stay mat. I just did, um, one doing just bronzer um, I have one planned for this week using all cream products. So I think tonight I'm going to show you the CC cream. Um, because this is a, like a customer favorite is the CC cream. If you have like redness, um, 
a lot of imperfections that you need to be covered that need to be covered up or like a color correction done to your face if you have different tones so on and so forth this is going to be like your best friend now let me tell you I've had so many customers that said, oh, we were so hesitant on buying the CC cream because usually they don't give you any pigment, they're not worth the money, blah, blah, Well, let me tell you, when my customers finally tried the CC cream and the BB from pharmacy, they were like, Charlotte, this, this is not a CC cream or a BB cream that gives you full coverage. Like, I can build these up to full coverage. Like, how is that possible? How did they get a CC cream to give so much coverage? And I'm like, I don't know, but it works. And they are. They are buildable, you guys. So you can go anywhere from light to almost a full coverage, depending on your skin tone and depending on what you're looking to cover, okay? So I'm telling you, you guys, these are so affordable go check these out you guys you will not regret it okay so i'm just putting some on my hand the back of my hand now i'm using the shade light to medium so it's a lightweight formula it says um and let me just read the back i mean i know what it does because i've been with pharmacy three years but let me just read you the technical description a uh, lightweight formula helps to instantly cover skin imperfections, imbalances, uneven skin tone, enrich formula with minerals, um, suitable for um, every skin type, flawless coverage. Like, yes, please, I will take that. So what I'm going to do is I go in with my Kabuki brush first, and I kind of just... Pat it around. Now, this shade is going to be a little light for me because I am tan, but I don't have, um, I don't have it in a, a darker shade, okay? So, we are just going to have to make do with this one, okay? Which is all right. We're going to deepen it up with some contour and all that good stuff. So I'm just running that down my neck so that we can kind of be blended. Like I said, I really need the um, medium shade right now, which, let me tell you, is always amazing to me when I get to go into a medium shade because I am so pale usually, like so light. So, now when I put this on, I tend to just do a light coverage um, because I'm okay with some of my flaws showing through, okay? I've gotten to the point in my life where it is what it is, okay? I have lived a life and it shows sometimes. On my face, I have fine lines, I have wrinkles, I have imperfections, I have redness to my skin, like I have it all, okay? But, and before that used to honestly bother me so much, like you guys, oh my God, I would be so insecure about it and I feel like I had to make my face look perfect, had to cover every little thing, and you guys, oh, you don't, okay? You do not. That is just because society has made it that way. But you know what? I am all about just aging gracefully. And I mean, obviously, you know, I there's days when I want more coverage that I really want more of a glam look and, you know, like really look you know, girly, girly, and all that, there's days that, yeah, absolutely. But then there's other days when I just want to look like the 53-year-old woman that I am with just a soft, natural um, coverage and call it a day. You know what I mean? And if I have some hyperpigmentation showing, if I have some imperfection showing, 
I'm okay with it. Like, honestly, I am okay with it. But it took a while to get there, let me tell you. Okay, that did not happen overnight. Oh, believe me when I tell you that. Um, that took a lot of telling myself things, you know what I mean? And kind of getting to the point where I was just like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> so... Let me fix my bun. So I'm going to go in with um, number seven in our liquid concealer, okay, which has plumping ingredients in it. And I'm going to use this as my contour. I love our stick contour, but I kind of like this one also. So... We are going to use this. And I'm just going to go in and start blending that. Now, this one's really a very light um, contour shade on me, which I don't mind. I don't really like a strong contour, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of like a more natural look, so I don't mind this one. I will go in with the other one just to show you, like, what the other one can do. But I wanted to show you the lighter option in case you are, like, my skin tone and you don't really want a heavy, heavy, um, contour. Okay, so that's using the liquid in the shade 07. Now you could get a darker contour um, concealer and get a more dramatic, um, a more dramatic contour. Okay, now this is our stick contour and now I will show you that one. Okay, because you can see that one just was very natural. Now I will put this on, which I know, like Charlotte. Who do you think you are putting all this stuff on? But I'm just showing you, you know, there's no rules. And now I'm going to go in with that same Kabuki brush and we're just going to blend that in because we need to because otherwise we look pretty silly and the thing that I really 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 love about these products are they are so blendable you guys a little goes a long way and it's not like it doesn't take a lot of effort to blend them in and I appreciate that so much. Now, I do have to be careful with how much I'm putting on because in this light, it always looks so much lighter. And then I go in the bathroom and I'm like, holy Moses. Like, whoa, lady, who do you think you are? Like, you need to tone that down. Like, you are way too dark. So, in here, in this bright vanity light, sometimes, like, it looks so good. And it's just the perfect shade. And then you go in the bathroom or outside and you're like, whoa, a little too much. Okay, I'm going to take a little concealer in the shade. Let's see, what shade? Number three. I'm going to just put a little bit right under my eyes because why not why not and I'm just taking the the butt of my beauty blender and using that to blend it out and it is important to blend okay 
and it brightens it up just a little bit. Uh, it's the other thing. I'm not someone that's really big on really super bright under eyes. I just, it's not for me. If that's how you like, good, you know, more power to you. It just does not look good on me. I try not to accentuate that area too much, you know, because your girl's got some stuff going on there, you know? Some fine lines, some wrinkles, and your eye skin is already thin enough. As you get older, it gets even thinner. So I try to stay away from that. Now, as far so we have bronzer, I mean, we have contour, we have concealer. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in with a liquid matte lipstick as my blush. And I am gonna go in with, I think this is 203. Yeah, 203. So that is a good thing you can do to remember, okay? If you can't find products in cream, like you like the products but they don't have a lot of cream products, just improvise, you guys. Improvise and use um, use products that can be used for more than one thing. And in this case, it's going to be liquid lipstick as my blush. And it is a gorgeous. And I'm just bringing it up a little bit because I want to draw the attention up up and away from my ham hocks, you know? Cause the ham hocks have been living a life of their own. Definitely. They have gotten big again, you guys. And I don't like them. So I'm just taking that kabuki brush stippling and going up okay just to blend it in just look how pretty that is okay so that's 203 if you wanted to add a little bit more you could but i like it and because it's a liquid matte lipstick for some reason i don't know why but this mixed with the cc it almost has like a built-in highlight look to it like you can see like it looks glowy you know and if you want you can actually add a little bit to the bridge of your nose if you wanted to okay you guys know I do not powder my face because my skin is too dry for that. Why am I making so much noise? Calm down, lady. Calm down. My goodness. Okay. I'm going to now spray, before I put my eyeshadow on, I'm going to just spray with this setting spray if I can get the cap off. I have been loving this Super Dewy Dewy Fix Fixing Spray from Makeup Revolution. It smells amazing, okay? And it just hydrates your skin. Like, I like our Time Locker, but that one, and it smells like cotton candy, which, of course, makes me hungry, but it's so good. It's so good, you guys. Okay. Now we need an eye look because why not? So let me just put some of this away because I get overwhelmed when too much is in front of my face. And then I just start doing all kinds of mistakes. So let me put all this away because we already know what we've used and I can recap without having all that in front of me. So now I'm going to go into the Desert Sands palette because I love this. Um, I also, we still have the Glam Up palette, you guys. So, if you are interested in the Glam Up palette, even though it's supposed to be retired soon, 
we do still have it so you can still get it and i highly suggest you do so if you haven't already this is such a good palette you guys it's so pretty in fact should we use the glam up palette tonight this is the desert sands one which is really really pretty but maybe I shall use, you know what, I am. I'm going to use the Glam Up palette because we're going to just live dangerously and hope that this doesn't get delisted anytime soon, you know? Maybe they've changed their mind. They've had a change of heart, maybe. You know, you never know. So why not? So I am going to grab one of my pharmacy double-ended brushes. You guys, if you don't have these, you need these. So good. All right, I'm going to go in with the shade Magnolia first, just as my base. I always like to put a powder base down first because I just feel like it helps when I put everything else on top of it. It just gives me that nice base. Okay. Simple, easy, easy peasy. Okay. Now we're going to go in with... I'm going to start off with Buff because it's just one of my favorite shades. That and the taupe. Um, I'm just going to start putting that in my crease like that. If you can hear my stomach grumbling, I apologize in advance, okay? I don't know why it's doing that. It's been fed. Do not ask me why it's grumbling at me and talking back to me. I don't know. But. So this is the shade Buff. And I am just going to look in this mirror for a minute. I will be so heartbroken if they do decide to delist this. Like they said they are, but I, I'm hoping they change their mind. Okay, now we're going to go into the shade Taupe. And I am going to... Set that in the outer corner a little bit. Just because. And if you make a big mess like that, don't worry, we'll clean it up. We will clean it up. Pharmacy shadows blend out so nice, you guys. So, so nice. I mean, like, it's effortless. And I'm just concentrating it on that outer corner. And taupe is such a pretty color. If you have like blue eyes, it will really accentuate them. It will. And again, we will clean up that outer area. And I'm just pushing, kind of pushing in, and then sweeping it over a little bit. So tap, 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 push, push, push. Okay. Can you see? You guys, I'm telling you, another bad thing about getting older is your eyes get so wrinkly it's so annoying. They get so, so wrinkly. It's terrible. It just is. Um, and now I'm going to go in with Nefertiti. 
because this is my other favorite shade. And I'm putting that on the inner part of my lid. Isn't that pretty? I mean, that's just gorgeous. I mean, come on. So pretty, you guys. This is probably one of my favorite looks that I do quite often because it is just so pretty. And again, blue eyes with this look, oh, it's just outstanding. Okay, so that's on the inner corner. And I just want to make sure that I have, I'm going to just deepen up this outer corner a little bit more. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh my goodness. And again, I'm just taking that damp beauty blender and making sure that my edges are clean and crisp. And then we're gonna go in with taupe for the bottom lash. And just run that. I don't go all the way in. I kind of keep it just on the outer corner to halfway. And then when I do go all the way across, I'll go in with a lighter shade on the inner part. So like mimicking what we did on the top, okay? That's what we're doing. So then I will go in with the Nefertiti. And we're gonna drag that on the inner part, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's just going to make my eyes look a lot wider and bigger than they actually are. I actually have really small eyes. So this is a great way to give the illusion that they are a little bit bigger than what they are. And I'm just taking my brush and just cleaning up any fallout. And then what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of CoverGirl powder. Pharmacy, you know, has powder. I mean, we all know that. But I like the CoverGirl powder for me because I don't have the pharmacy powder right now. And this is the only other powder that I really do like. So I'm just putting that underneath my eyes very lightly, I'm not putting a lot, okay? So I used to be addicted to CoverGirl powder. Like that's all I used to wear, even as a foundation. That's That was my foundation. And I love the smell of it. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay. Mascara, you guys. Mascara. What should we use? Oh, let's see. I think we're just going to go in. I used Extreme Curl already, so we don't need to use that again. I have 3D and I have Limitless also. And I have, of course, Double Lash. But um, I don't know. Should, I use, should we use 3D? Maybe we'll use 3D. I haven't used 3D in a while. And Limitless, although it's good, it's not my favorite. Um, I don't know. Why don't we do 3D on one and we'll do Limitless on the other? How's that, right? Okay, so on this side, we're going to do 3D.
I mean, my favorite is Double Lash in Zen and the Extreme Curl. Those are my three favorites. I have the others, but I very rarely use them. And I think that's typical with anybody. I think you get to, used to a couple and you just fall in love with them and you just don't feel the need to really use any other ones. And of course my eyes are itchy and watery because my allergies. And now that I have makeup on, they're going to irritate me. I don't know, you guys. These, this allergy season is killing me. I don't know. It just is. It's bad. It's really, really bad, you guys. And it's weird because I never had allergies until recently. So, I don't know. And I don't know if it's because we've moved now and we have woods behind us. Because we're kind of out in the country now. I don't know if that's what it is, but I'm telling you, my allergies are terrible and I just am not used to it. Okay, I'm gonna put some on the lower lash. Lower lash. And we will do limitless on the other eye so you guys can see the difference. Get the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? Okay, 3D on this eye. I'm gonna go with limitless on the other eye. Now I will say that out of all of our mascaras, I will be honest, Limitless is my least favorite. Um, I just don't feel that it gives me a whole lot. I don't feel like it really does a whole lot for my lashes, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's definitely a buildable mascara. But for me, it kind of gives more of that spidery look to the lashes. And I do not like that at all. I just don't like that look. I mean, I want impressive lashes, but I like a more natural impression, um, impressive lashes, if that makes any sense at all. And it probably doesn't. But... Like, I want my eyelashes to be noticeable and, like, in-your-face type. Like, people, you know, I want people to wonder, does she have falsies or is that her lashes? And with this Limitless, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it gives that spidery look. And I'm just not about that. And I kind of feel like almost like it shortens my lashes. But I know some people that use this and it looks amazing on their lashes. So I think it's just a matter of like probably preference and how your lashes are. Like what kind of lashes you have. Um, but I do like the other ones better. Like for a little bit there, I'm gonna let that dry. And let's do the bottoms. And come on this side so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So limitless here and 3D on that. Now, I will say that Limitless compared to 3D actually looks, this makes my lashes look um, a little bit more prominent than the 3D one. 
So you can see there's, there's a difference, okay? Like when I'm looking straight, these lashes are a lot more noticeable than the 3D. I will put a second coat on of the 3D to see what it will do. And normally I never put two coats of mascara, but I'm going to just so I can show you what two coats would be. And when I do the second coat, when I ever do do a second coat, I kind of put it on and I press up. I press like upwards so that it will help to curl the lashes. Okay. So that's two coats of 3D. So two coats of 3D and one coat of Limitless. Let me look up for you guys so you can see. Now, I will say that when you put a second coat of any mascara, I don't care what mascara it is, if they tell you it won't, they're lying. Um, it sometimes ends up like your lashes will stick together a little bit. I have never had a um, mascara that doesn't do it. But that thing is worthless. Let's see if I can find my other lash separator so I can fix this. Let me shut this and see if I can find it. You guys, I got this off Amazon and it really is nice. You just have to use it once it's dry because otherwise it can make a mess. But it does work really good at separating the lashes. So, that's what I mean. Like, if you put a second coat, it tends to clump the lashes a little bit. But that's with, I think, any mascara, like I said. I think when you do a second coat, you always got to go through and kind of comb through. Okay. Now, maybe that doesn't happen for you. And if it doesn't, that's great. Okay. But I think anyone that has especially a little bit longer lashes, it can tend to happen. But that's not to take away from um, pharmacies products because... Our, our mascaras are really good, you guys. And you know me. I am very fussy about my mascaras, okay? So, there you go. So, whichever one, again, we have so many to choose from. So, go shop and look and see and see which one you think will be best for you. Read the descriptions. Um, if you have any questions too, you can ask me and I can kind of tell you because I'm, I know all about the mascaras. That was one of the first things I got from pharmacy was the mascara, it was the Zen mascara actually. So now what I want to do is I don't normally do this, but everybody has been asking me to, if I could fill in my brows a little bit. So I am going to, I have the pencil one. I don't have the pomade or anything like that. I wish I did, but I am going to just do a little bit of just the front. I'm just going to try and fill in the front a little bit. For, and because everyone's like, oh, we always see, we never see you like with your brows filled in. And that's because I never fill them in. I just never do. Okay. It's just not something that I do. Oh, I was going to say, where did my spoolage go? <laughs> just had it. Um, I don't know. I've just never been someone who's filled in their brows. 
I feel so weird with my brows filled in. Like, so weird. Like, I don't feel like myself with my brows filled in. Um, but you guys have been asking me to show, so I am going to. Okay, so let me just do this side. And honestly, guys, a lot of times I don't do it because I'm not good at it. I am just not good at doing brows. It's bad. I just kind of like put it and then I just take the spoolie and I kind of let the spoolie like even it out, if that makes sense. Like I let the spoolie like soften it. I used to have really thick, thick eyebrows and I can't, I don't know what happened because I was never someone who plucked them a lot. Like I never really plucked my eyebrows. Um, but I don't know, like as I've gotten older, my brows have gotten really thin and especially like the front of them, like the, this part. So I'm just taking that spoolie and I kind of just go up and just soften them up. But see, like, I don't feel myself with brows. <laughs> I just, like, it freaks me out, you guys, so much. And people said, well, try doing like a lighter shade, but I can't because my natural brows are dark, dark brown. Like, they're dark brown. There is nothing light about my natural brows at all. So if I put a softer brown, it looks really weird because there's such a color difference. So, yeah, it's just not good. And I know a lot of people have been like brushing their brows up like that. Like that's the new style, I guess. I don't know. Is it or is it just me? Like, it's so weird. But yeah, so there you go, you guys. Which is, I just, I do not feel myself. Like, this to me doesn't even look like Charlotte. Like, it doesn't look like me at all, in my opinion. But, I don't know. Like I said. Oh, I don't know. Like, it brings my eyes out, but it looks so weird to me to have, like, a brows like I don't know all right let's do some lips because I'm getting anxious <laughs> getting anxious okay let me uh, wipe that lip plumper off I'm gonna go in with 227 It's a dark brown. Okay, so two two seven. You guys, I can't even take myself seriously with these brows. I just can't, like, honest to God. Okay. <laughs> and then 
well this is what i originally wanted to use was this one but because we went i went a different direction with my eyes even though probably could use that though it's so pretty do i want to this is number what number is this number eight I feel like I want like a little pop of color on my lips because our eyes are pretty neutral. Let's just go for it, shall we? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I want to use this as the base. And I might go on top with a brown still. That is gorgeous, you guys. Oh my God, that's so pretty. But I do want to go in with a brown on top, I think. But, oh my God, that's so pretty. I thought, I don't know if it would clash like with the, um, the eye, but it doesn't. But I am going to go over it with, let's see, is Money Maker up here? This is, um, I don't want Money Maker. I want, that's Money Maker too. How many Money Makers do I have? If only my money maker lipstick would bring me money. That would be great. Um, let me see. Do I want to go on top with beige? Mm, let's see. I'm so undecided. <laughs> oh, you guys. This is why you shouldn't do your makeup at night. Because things get silly. But I do want to tone that down a little bit. But I want, oh, I know what I could use. I know what I can use. Hold up, people, hold up. Not that. Aha. I'm going to use our regular bullet style. Just to like brown it up a little. So it's not so red. Or purple. It's kind of like a wine. So I'm just going on top of that. Bringing it down a little bit. Kind of like a chocolate cherry, chocolate covered cherry. Okay, much better. Although I loved that combo. I love it. I will definitely be wearing that with a, maybe a wing liner, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let me go back in with my 227 liner. Where'd I put it? Did we put it back in the drawer? Yes, we did. And Just going back in and just adding a 
that line up back a little bit. Get my mirror up close. Perfect. So good, you guys. So we did 227, we did 03, and then we went in on top with the coffee colored bullet style lips, lipstick, which is a true brown. And that is our look, you guys. Definitely a glam look definitely not like an everyday look but I love it you guys it's so pretty so so pretty you guys I'm so happy that we tried that and I can't find I think I put it up there but that is so so pretty you guys so if you like any of the products that you saw you can go shop for them at my website, on my website at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash Charlotte Cardoso 2. If you need any help, you have any questions, just feel free to message me. I'll be more than happy to help you. And um, right now, the um, we've been having sales on and off. So just go check out, see what's available right now for sales. Um, we had a sale 15% off of everything, um, site wise, site wide, but I'm not sure if it ended already. It might end, might be ending tonight. So you can go check that out. You can get 15% off. Um, so yeah, so I am so happy. So we used, um, 203 for blush in our liquid matte lipsticks. We use CC cream for our foundation. We use the VFX Pro Matte Primer. We used our Lip Plumper. We used our Glam Up Palette. We used, uh, the 227 Lip Liner, 03 Lip liquid lip and then we topped it off with our bullet style lipstick we used limitless mascara on this eye 3d on this eye and we used our cream contour stick um and we also used um our cream concealer i gave you two options of what you could use um as far as a contour so you can go in with one of the concealers and use it as contour um, or go in with the contour stick. So I showed you both ways. One mascara on each eye. So you get a choice of two you could choose from. I mean, we have more than two. But, I mean, it gives you an, a way of comparing the two of them. Um, and, yeah. So, anyways, you guys, go check out the products. You will not be sorry. There is a 30-day money-back um guarantee so if for some reason it doesn't work for you it's not the right shade for you whatever just contact customer service and they will tell you what to do um so that you can get either an exchange or a refund so but look at you guys look how pretty that is now i have all this makeup and nowhere to go and it's 8 30 and i'm just gonna go wash it all off i wish i didn't have to because it came out really, really good, you guys. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all my customers who continue to buy from me and support me and my business. I appreciate you so, so much. So, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I'm not trying to be, like, funny or a smart aleck. I sincerely mean that. Um... I just appreciate you guys so, so much. I appreciate that out of all the influencers that you picked me to buy from, I appreciate that even though I know a lot of us are struggling financially, 
that you guys still manage to order and place orders whenever you can. And I am so grateful for that. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your night. Have a great rest of your week. And like I said, I'll be back probably at the end of the week, probably Friday. Um, and I'll do a all cream look to show you what that would be like using our cream contour, our cream um, highlight stick, which is actually a, almost a foundation on me because it matches perfectly. And then I'll use our cream highlighter. I'll use our liquid lip for our blush again. Everything will be cream based, okay? So if that's something that interests you, just keep an eye out and that will be up soon. So tonight, this video obviously is on YouTube. It's going, it's uploaded onto my Pharmacy with Charlotte website on Facebook. That is my business page. I am doing a giveaway. Anyone who places an order this month with Pharmacy um, will be entered into the giveaway to win a prize from me, a gift. Um, anybody who um, refers out to friends and family and if they buy something, you will be entered into the giveaway. Um, so just let me know if you order something, let me know. Okay. And if you have someone that you refer, order something, let me know so that I can get you into that giveaway. Um, it's going to be a pretty decent giveaway. So, um, make sure that you let me know. Okay. So thank you guys. And I will see you all soon. Bye.